Hello again everyone, it's me Becky from Larch Class and it's time for our book based learning lesson. So for this lesson you will need a pen, some paper, a sound mat if you have one and some junk modeling. So any recycling that you might have in your house. So you might want to pause this video here and go and gather everything that you need and then come back when you're ready. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start our lesson by talking about today's date. What I'd like you to do is have a look at the calendar to help you. And I would like you to tell your adult what the date is today. And I'd like you to remember to use a full sentence. So try and say the date is before your answer. You might want to pause the video here and take the time to do that. Okay, shall we see if you're right? Well done. If you noticed that it was Wednesday, the 6th of January. So we're all going to repeat that sentence together. Okay, so listen to me first and then it will be your turn. It's Wednesday, the 6th of January, 2021. Can you say that for me? Okay, well done. You might have noticed that the month has changed, hasn't it? It's not December anymore. Can you tell your adult what the month is? Now, I want you to tell your adult what year we are in, because we have entered a new year now, haven't we? We had our Happy New Year celebration. So just pause the video here and tell your adult what year it is. That's right, it is 2021 or 2021. Now, I want you to have another look at the calendar. I want you to have a think about what the date will be tomorrow. And you can tell your adult using a full sentence. So tomorrow it will be, so pause the video here. Okay. Now, tomorrow, it will be Thursday, the 7th of January, 2021. Well done if you got that right. Now, I've got one more question for you before we move on to the main learning. I'd like you to count how many days we have got until we get to the weekend. So just use the calendar, count the days for me and then tell your adult or show your adult on your fingers, like we do in class sometimes. Okay, shall we see if you got it right? It's one day, two days, three days until the weekend. Now remember the weekend, that's Saturday and Sunday. Those days are the weekend days and the weekend starts with Saturday. So well done if you got that right. And remember, we don't count the sixth. We don't count from the sixth. We start our count from the seventh, which is the next day after today. OK, well done if you have got those dates right. It's now time to move on to the main learning of our lesson. First of all, we need to go over some important words for this lesson. So I'd like you to have a look at the pictures that you can see. And I'd like you to think about what these pictures are. And then I'd like you to say what words you think match the pictures to your adult, or you can say it to me. You can pause the video here. OK, shall we see if you were right? Let's see. All right, so that first picture. That is a mountain. I'd like you to say that word for me, mountain. Fantastic. Now you might have heard of that word. You might know what a mountain is, or maybe it's the first time you've heard that word. It's okay, because today we might be thinking a bit more about mountains. Now that second word, that is a desert. Can you say the word desert? 
Fantastic. So you might want to pause the video here and tell your adult if you know what this word means. It's OK if you don't. Your adult can help you to explain what this is. OK, so the desert is a very, very hot place and there's lots of sand and not many other uh, things around in a desert. We've got lots of sand, not too many trees, not too many plants, um, a few desert animals. OK, and then that third word, that last word is a rainforest. Can you say that word? Again, you might want to pause the video here and tell your adult if you've heard this word before and if you can describe what this word might be, what it might mean. If you don't know, that's fine. Again, you can ask an adult for help or you can wait for me to help you. OK, so a rainforest is a habitat and we've learned that word habitat last year. It's a habitat. It's a place where animals live and it's very wet, quite hot. There are lots of trees and lots of plants and lots of different animals. So these three pictures are all examples of habitats, of places where animals live. They're all quite different, aren't they? If you've got some time, you might want to pause the video and say what you know might be different about all of these habitats. You might want to think about whether there's anything that's similar about all of these habitats. It's up to you. OK, now let's move on to the main part of our learning. I would like you to have a close look at these pictures. I'd like you to think about what you can see and where these pictures might be. So take your time. There's lots of time to do this. You might want to pause the video and discuss and talk about these pictures with your adult first. And it might just be that you simply say, call out some of the things that you can see. Now remember to use a full sentence. So you must say, I can see and then name some of the things that you can see in some of the pictures. And I'd like you to tell your adult. Pause the video here. OK, so I'm going to give you my example. I can see some tall trees in that bottom left hand picture. And in the top right hand picture, I can see some yellow sand. Now I'm going to put the word and in the middle of two sentences to make it longer. So I want you to listen to my longer sentence. I can see tall trees in the rainforest and yellow sand in the desert. I'm going to say another sentence now, but I'm going to use but to join two sentences together to make a longer sentence. OK, so I can see tall buildings in the city in that bottom right hand picture. I can see tall buildings in the city, but I can't see any buildings in the hot desert. So that's another example of a slightly longer sentence using the word but. So maybe some of my sentences might be similar to some of the sentences that you've come up with. OK. Now, the next part of our lesson, the last part of our lesson, you are going to write a sentence to describe what you see. Okay? And it can be the same sentence that you told your adult, or it can be a sentence that's similar to the one that I told you. I don't mind what sentence it is, as long as it's a sentence about what you can see in one of the pictures or in more than one of the pictures. So remember to say your sentence out loud first so that you can remember it. And then you've got your sound back there on the screen to help you. And you've also got a sight word mat to help you as well. So do take your time. Your adult can hopefully give you a bit more help if you need it. Pause this video and then come back once you've finished. OK. So I hope that there have been lots of lovely sentences that have been written about the pictures that you can see. And it will give you a bit of a clue to some of the learning that we'll be doing this term. So I'm going to share with you 
the sentence that I've come up with, and I'm going to model writing it for you here. And I can use my sound map to help me. So my sentence is going to be, I can see green trees and sand. That's my sentence. So I'm going to start with a capital letter with the word I, and it's a sight word. And I can see it's one of the green sight words on that sight word mat. I'm going to leave a finger space and I'm going to sound out the word can. Can you help me sound out the word can? Use your robot hands to help me. K -a -n. Can. Thank you very much. K I'm going to write my k, then my a, n, can. And my letters are all the same height, aren't they? So I've got part of my sentence now. I can. Do you remember what my next word was? That's right, it was C. Can you sound out C to help me, please? C. C. And I remember that it's two letters making the E sound. That digraph, E. And I can see that on my sound map. It's one of the light green sounds, so I found it. Let's read what I've written so far. I can see what was my next word can you remember i can see ah green that's a describing word i want to put into my sentence it describes the trees can you sound out that word green for me please G Green, excellent. Now my G, my letter G is longer than the rest of my letters, isn't it? So let's read my sentence from the start. I can see green. What's the next word? Trees. My letter T is nice and tall there, isn't it? Brr, e, Trees. I've noticed that in three of my words, I've got that same digraph. Those two letters, the double E, making the E sound. I can see green trees and, can you help me sound out the word and? A, N, and, d and remember, our D starts as a C and it goes all the way up. It's nice and tall and then it comes down to a thick and. I've nearly finished now. I can see green trees and do you remember what my last word was? Sand. That's right. Can you help me sound out my last word? OK. Ah. Uh, mm. And then duh, again, it starts as a C, doesn't it? Before it goes round all the way up and down. And then what do I need when I've finished my sentence? Can you remember? I need a full stop. That's right. So now I'd like you to read my sentence. Shall we do it together? Ready? I can see green trees and fan. Okay, so that's my sentence. But with your sentence, what I'd like you to do is to take a photograph and I'd like you to upload a photograph of your sentence to Class Dojo for your class so that we can share all of our sentences. So yours might look like mine or it might look a bit different. It would be nice to see what all of you have come up with. Okay. So you might want to pause the video here. You might want to write another sentence if you want to challenge yourself or you might be happy with the sentence that you've written. OK, I'm going to leave my sentence here and we've just got one more thing to do before we finish our lesson today. OK, so your follow up activity. Now, I would like you to have a go at creating your own setting your own habitat based on the pictures that we have seen and the pictures that we've done some talking about and some writing about. Now, you can use junk modelling such as 
any cardboard boxes, any plastic bottles, any toilet rolls that you've got around your house, or you can use some natural resources as well. So from outside, such as sticks, grass, conkers, that kind of thing. And you can get creative. You can be curious cats and you can think about how you might make a setting using some of these materials. And I'd like you to have a think about why you're using some of these shapes for your habitat. So, for example, these toilet rolls are shaped like a cylinder. Some of us might know that word. Can you say that word for me? Cylinder. That's the name for the shape of a toilet roll. OK, so these would be a good choice if you wanted to make the trunk of a tall tree, for example. So you could choose cylinders because they've got a curved face just like um, a tree trunk has as well. So these cuboid shapes, these cardboard boxes, we call them cuboids. Can you say that word for me? Cuboid. So I would use a cuboid if I wanted to make uh, a habitat of a city. So I could use this cuboid to help me to make a building like the ones in the picture. And I might paint some windows on my building. I might put another cuboid on top if I wanted to make it taller. So there are lots and lots of things that you can do with the junk modelling in your house with all your recycling. And if you wanted to add some natural resources as well. So if you would like to do that follow up activity, that would be great. I'd like you to take a photo of the habitat that you choose to create. And I would love it if you could upload that to Class Dojo for all of us to see. And as an extra challenge, it would be great if you could write a label for your setting and include that in the photograph as well. OK, now, just before we go, I'd like us to have a think about this time. And it's usually around this time that we open the doors in school for outdoor learning. So unfortunately, we're not back at school yet, but some of us uh, are in school. and Some of us will be going out at this time for our outdoor learning. So I'd like you to remember what this time is and I'd like you to say a sentence to your adult. The time is, and I would like you to pause this video here so that you can do that now. I wonder if you remember what the time is. I'm going to say my sentence and I'd like you to see if it matches your sentence. So the time is 10 o'clock. And I wonder if you can explain how you know that the time is 10 o'clock. So you might want to pause the video here and I'll give you a clue. You might want to use the words minute hand and hour hand. OK, I'm going to tell you my sentence. So I know that it's 10 o'clock because the minute hand or the blue hand is on the 12. And the hour hand, that red hand, is on the 10. So maybe my sentences were similar to your sentences. OK, now it's time for us to finish our book based learning lesson. I'm really looking forward to seeing all your wonderful creations of your habitats and hopefully I will see you soon. OK, have a lovely day, everybody, and I'll be in touch later. Bye bye.